Hi everyone, Jay Devine here. So this week's video is going to be about three essential safety items that everyone should have in a home RV. So first of all, um, to share a little bit um, about myself that I haven't gone into in season one. Um, I was a firefighter for 11 years. Um, I saw a lot of really, really bad things. And I've learned a lot of things from other people's mistakes. Um, sometimes they were deadly mistakes. Um, after 11 years, um, I started having really bad panic attacks. I'd get in my car to go to work and I'd get like my heart would start pounding, I'd get out of breath, I'd have full-blown panic attacks, even ended up in the emergency room once, and from that um, went into seeing a doctor and actually getting diagnosed with PTSD, which ended my career, which was fine, I did it for too long anyways. Um, so the safety items that I think are most important from being a firefighter are, first of all, um, smoke alarm. Every home, every RV should have at least one smoke alarm. Two is better. I always think at least two is better of everything, no matter how small the space, because I know from experience that sometimes things don't work. Um, fire alarms sometimes go out and, and um, do weird things, and it's always good to have an extra one. Um, second item is a carbon monoxide detector. And I can't tell you how important this is, especially in an RV, but even in a house. Um, but man, too many things can go wrong. Carbon monoxide will kill you fast. You can be sleeping, you'll just never wake up. You'll never know what hits you. Trust me, I've seen it. It's, it's not a good thing to um, find people passed away, deceased in their home from carbon monoxide. So please, please, carbon monoxide detectors, always have them. And then the third item, very important, is to have um, fire extinguishers. Because if there's a way to put out a fire from it going any further or doing any damage to um, your home or RV or anybody else's, and you can put the fire out with a, a fire extinguisher, best case scenario. Still always a good idea, even if you put a fire out, to call the fire department and have them come check things out because there may be things smoldering that you don't know about that can start a fire um, later on. And so, but yeah, those are the three items that I think are the most important um, safety items to have in a home or an RV. And uh, we're going to show you today, I, I'm going to show you carbon monoxide detectors. They came in today, so I'm going to install those. So these are the detectors that I got. They're just the off-brand. Um, they're battery operated. There's a green light that goes on every 30 seconds in each of them to tell you it's working properly. Um, let's see. Display that tells you the PPMs, um, and that's really all I think you need. So when looking around the coach. Um, one thing you'll notice is that there is vents pretty much everywhere. That's air intake, which you can't have it by. Ventilation, ventilation there, ventilation. Those, these are all vents from the air, oh, which feels so good, by the way. Um, and then even in the bathroom, air vents, air vents. <laughs> you got the shower here. Um, in the bedroom, I'll show you. The one that came with it's right here, and it's just next to a nightstand. Uh, so I'm not really worried about having one in the bedroom, and we'd certainly hear them in this um, from out here. So what I've decided is we definitely wanted one up front um, because with the engine here and um, any fumes coming off the engine, we want to know right away. Um, if anything's going on up here while we're driving. So we thought it would be a good idea to put one up here. Um, and the place that I found, we don't want to put anything on these ceilings. These ceilings are 
I don't know, leather, vinyl, I'm not sure, but they're really nice ceilings in here. So, we have a place we could put one here. With the slide there, I don't want to, though, because there could be some air um, leaking in there. Um, um, the person we bought said there's no air that leaks from in here, but I've heard a lot of people say with slides there is some air that leaks in. So to keep it away from this side um, would probably be a good idea. So what I thought we'd do, these windows are probably not going to have open too much like at night. And if the windows are open, then I well, think you're pretty good anyways. But uh, what I thought about doing is putting one right up here. Um, there's nothing um, that opens into it or anything. I don't think it would hurt anything being there. Um, and so that's one place. And it'll be kind of hidden too. And so I'm going to put one there. And then the other place I, I wanted to put it is kind of on the opposite side. I, I didn't know whether to put it in the kitchen, which there is so little space in the kitchen to where, well, you know what? I might change my mind. There is a space right up here. This is away from most ventilation. It's in the kitchen. Um, hmm. It was either in this location, and this is on the side where the table is on. We've got a TV in here for now. We've got to still put it, um, hang it up. So, hmm, I'm not sure now. Now I'm thinking about here. The other place was going to be up here. The thing is that we already have one in the bedroom. And this is awfully close. There's two vents in this bathroom right next to each other. And then the shower, which it's not supposed to be close to, so... Um, and to be honest, I don't think I'd like the way it looks if it was just up on this wall. Cause you see this wall from all the way through the house. So I think I'm going to put it up here. And it looks like something was already hanging up here. And so we'll cover that too. Alright, so that was pretty easy to install them. They're working properly. Um, I'm happy with the locations of them. That gets us three throughout. There's one in the um, cockpit, one in the kitchen dining area, and then one in the bedroom. Um, two would have probably been fine, but the one was already built in. Uh, so let me show you where the fire um, extinguishers are now. So the first fire extinguisher is located by the front door. I think that's by the front door is a great place for it. Um, and, and you see it when you open and close the door, when you come in and go out, and it reminds you of where it is, and I, I think that's very important. Um, this fire extinguisher, it's a first aid. It's uh, for trash, wood, um, liquids, and electrical equipment. Um, so yeah, I think that's a great place to have it. So I'm happy with that, and like I said, if you can um, have at least one of your, your extinguishers to where, I know they're not super pretty, but to where you're going to see it all the time, you're going to remember where it is, because in an emergency, the first thing that's going to go is your brain. I promise you, it's that total stress out, and it's hard to remember even what to do in those situations, trust me. So to have something you see every day, all the time, to remind you where it is, that's extremely important. So, um, yeah, the front door is awesome. All right. And the next one... I wanted to have one um, in the front and, and at least one at the opposite end and in the bedroom. Um, because if there's a fire at night, you want to be able to grab it. It's kind of hidden. It's the same exact kind um, that I have up front and it's full. And uh, yeah, definitely um, want to have one where you can grab it, especially in an RV that's close to your um, bed. And this isn't intrusive, it's not really in the way, and it, it's not, you know, it doesn't really show, so. So that's the um, fire extinguishers. In a few days, the smoke alarms will be here. I'm going to turn off this video, and in about two seconds, um, for you, 
it's going to be three days and I'll have the smoke detectors and uh, I'll show you them and I'll show you where I'm installing them. And so, see you in a second. So, smoke alarm I got um, in today. I got two different kinds. This is the kind, um, was the same one that was originally installed in this. It was taken um, out by the um, previous owner. But, um, yeah, fit exactly perfect um, in the holder that was already in here. So I didn't have to make any new holes or anything. And then the second one is a little bit different kind, but I put this one in the bathroom between the uh, shower and the uh, sink. Uh, so it's kind of hidden, but it's in a good place still, and it's still kind of close to the bedroom. Um, so I'm happy with that location. So, yeah, I think we got all our security devices that we need for now. Okay, that's our episode for this week. I hope it was helpful. Um, it was important for me to do, um, for obvious reasons. So, yeah, join us next week. We're going to show you some fixing up that we're doing um, on our new home. And until next week, have a divine life. Thank you, everybody, again for watching our videos. We really appreciate it. We love making these videos. We, we plan on doing it forever. We would sure appreciate it if you would subscribe. Push the subscribe button and also hit the bell next to it as that will remind you that we are on every Sunday at 6 p.m. Mountain time. And also, if you like our video, hit the thumbs up, hit the thumbs up, the like button. Again, thank you so much for watching our videos. And until we see you again, have, have a divine, divine life. life.